Bullets whizzing down an Oklahoma freeway, a squad car ramming an accused killer's boat. And an officer taking aim at a speeding truck. All of it, including the dramatic arrest, hey, 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 hey. captured on body and dash cam video just released by Oklahoma City Police, the agency investigating the murder of Oklahoma County Sheriff Sergeant Bobby Schwartz and the shooting of Deputy Mark Johns, who survived. It happened just over two weeks ago on August 22nd, when authorities say the pair, along with a third deputy, came to this Oklahoma City house to serve eviction papers to 35-year-old Benjamin Plank. NBC affiliate KFOR reporting the eviction came at the request of Plank's mother, who had filed a protective order against him, according to court documents. Police say Plank refused to come out. Moments later, firing at deputies, hitting both Schwartz and Johns. Authorities say Plank then took off in this gray truck, a boat attached to the back. The suspect refused to stop for the officers, initiating a pursuit. Oklahoma City Police releasing a narrated montage of the chase video, pointing out Plank appearing to fire at officers. Officers firing back. One even shooting through his windshield. It's just a reminder that police work is very, very dangerous. Uh, an eviction notice of all things. You're just going there to ask somebody to please vacate a premise, and it winds up with the loss of life. Investigators say no one was injured during the chase. Authorities say the officers who fired are on paid leave per protocol. Move everybody! Get everybody out! Eventually, hands in the air, Plank appears to surrender. Officers arrest and tase him. Get on your oh! Oh! Get on your stomach! Get on your oh! stomach! Investigators say they later found a number of weapons in his vehicle. Efforts by NBC News to contact Plank and his mother have been unsuccessful. Now, Sergeant Schwartz's family mourning an unthinkable loss. The local sheriff breaking down in tears. Law enforcement is it's a tight community, and, and I'm so thankful. They were screaming across the state for my guys. <laughs> Maggie Vespa joins us now live here on Top Story. Maggie, it, it's so sad that Sergeant Schwartz lost his life over an eviction notice. I, I have a couple questions. Right. Do we know where this case stands right now? And then also, and I guess it might be a mystery, is, is there any reason why the alleged shooter here, the person who killed Sergeant Schwartz allegedly, decided to escape with a, a boat hitched to the back of his car? <laughs> I know it's one of the most bizarre parts of this story, one of many bizarre parts. Um, we don't know point blank. That, along with many other details, haven't been addressed in the court documents. It's very possible that he was just trying to get away quickly and didn't have time to unhitch the boat from a car that was there. As far as where the case stands now, it is really just beginning. It comes with a long list of criminal charges, as you can probably assume, from that video, including first-degree murder for the shooting death of Sergeant Schwartz, also shooting with intent to kill, assault and battery with a dangerous weapon, and shooting from a vehicle. Again, we haven't been able to contact Plank or an attorney for him at this time. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.